Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we have some important or good news you can say, which is coming from TCS. That is TCS has finally started rolling out joining letters for 2025 batch and from 7th of August onboarding will begin. We will be sharing complete detail in this video that is about the joining letters and of offer letters about official onboarding dates and then we will also be checking the required documents that you need to have before your joinings. So before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I regularly post these kinds of helpful off-campus drives as well as hiring updates on my channel on daily basis. So guys, let's see first of all what we are going to discuss in today's video. So guys, in today's video, we will be discussing TCS 2025 batch joining letter announcement. I will also be showing you a part of the joining letter which is displayed on the first page of the joining letter so that you get to know that exactly what dates are mentioned in that. Then we will be seeing official onboarding dates and current numbers. Then we will be seeing the rumors versus reality because we are we are getting a lot of news right that for freshers and experienced candidates the joinings are getting delayed. What is the truth behind that? Then we will be seeing the required documents that we will need for joining. Then finally some important advice for all the candidates who are currently waiting. So let's see the first topic which is joining letters are currently out. So TCS has officially started sending the joining letters for 2025 batch candidates and candidates have received emails with the joining details. Now the onboarding date, uh, onboarding will be offline or physical which means you have to go in office. It won't be virtual as of now. Bulk of uh, joinings will start from 7th of August 2025. And as I was saying that this is the, uh, you know, uh, this is the content which is displayed on the first page of your joining letters. Those who have received it, let me read it out for you. We would like to take this opportunity to extend you a very warm welcome to Tata Consultancy Services Limited family. We are pleased to inform you that your joining date at TCSL will be 7th of August 2025. Your joining location is Chennai and work location is Chennai. You will be assigned a role in unit as per the business requirement of TCSL. TCS onboarding team will reach out to you over email within the next few days to guide you further on the onboarding process and steps to take on to prepare yourself for onboarding. If you have participated in TCS pre-joining Explore Learning program, you have a head start. We appreciate your passion for learning. You are now all set to experience learning through our curated TCS initial learning program. So guys, I hope now it is very clear that for 7th of August, the joining like dates are released and it is for Chennai location as of now. The candidates mostly have, mostly who are from Chennai have received this. If anyone of you also have received your joining letters and if you are from any other location, please put that in the comment section so that we all get to know what is the current status ongoing as of now. And also all the other ones who are currently either waiting for their statuses or currently in any other phase, please put your status also in the comment section so that uh, the candidates who are in the similar phase like yours can reach out to you. You can reach out to them by, via replying your comments and all. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the onboarding start phase, okay, like some data on the onboardings. See, the onboarding will start from 7th of August as we have seen, that will be your first joining date and over 975 plus candidates as of now will be onboarded on in the first batch, okay. And we have already seen that previously also TCS almost, uh, you know, like, uh, like onboard around 1k plus you can say candidates in one batch, okay, like for example, if 7th of August. Uh, is the joining date so around 1k people will be joining on that day next time in next week if there is any joining date that they are releasing around 1k to 2k they will again on board okay so this is usually the uh, amount of candidates that they will on board in one day now more offer letters and joining letters are rolling out in phases so mostly and these are for ninja and digital roles okay so like we have seen for prime candidates it is like less number but the ninja and digital roles uh, joining letters are rolled out in bulk okay so that is why i'm saying if anyone of you have received it please put that in the comment section so we get to know the correct data now talking about this rumor thing okay which is fresher versus experience what is the difference so see there is a lot of rumor that is going on these days that tcs is postponing the onboarding now guys at one point this is true also but you have to understand in what aspect aspect it is true okay the reality is that the delay is only for experienced candidates I have myself received a lot of DMs from the experienced candidates or the lateral joinings that are, you know, uh, of offer letters and joining letters were like decided from the company. But now they are saying that due to some reasons, we need to delay it by October and all. So this is all happening for the experienced candidates. That is what the truth is. For fresher onboarding, it is currently in progress as per the schedules. And we have already seen the dates and the joining letters of the candidates who are already receiving it in the August month. Okay. 
so don't be worried if you are a fresher okay it is mostly not going to be delayed now let's understand what are the some important documents that you need to have so make sure that you have this documents ready okay first thing is your all semester mark sheets will be needed just in case if you have recently completed your examinations of your like last semesters or something and if you haven't received your final like you know hard copy of the mark sheets then in that case you should take the internet copy of it okay and you can put that into the single pdf which you are going to prepare talking about provisional degree certificate if you have received it then you should have if not then it is fine valid pa passport is very mandatory guys i was getting a few you know comments on the videos that is it fine i have like you know i don't have passport uh, so how will it proceed in that way first thing is guys if you don't have passport please apply for it and guys you will be getting a receipt okay like kind of a receipt or a documentation which is kind of one single a4 sheet of page something like that in that your uh, like you have applied for the passport that details will be mentioned okay until you get your actual passport that will be valid so for those candidates who have recently applied that paper screenshot or paper uh, doc, is, you have to scan that and then you have to submit as a passport verify like you know for income in place of passport you have to submit that because TCS even accept that thing that you have at least applied for it and maybe within a month or two you will be getting your passports but as of now your that you know the slip or the thing which I am telling you about will work okay now talking about uh, the medical certificate so there will also be a fit to work certificate okay in the documents uh, which you need to submit okay you will be getting all of that when you are when you have to submit your bgv documents and i already have videos on bgv documents make sure to check that also and these may need to be submitted within days of receiving the joining letter okay so all this process will usually happen once you get your joining letters okay after that before your joining or during your joining initial days you need to submit all these documents as i told you i already have a dedicated video if you want another video on this let me know in the comment section and i will bring that also soon for all of you now talking about candidate pending candidates situation okay what you should do all of those candidates who have not received any update as of now what you should do so guys keep your documents ready at all the times because it will be helpful for you and watch out the emails from tcs uh, next step updates okay you will be receiving all the official updates in your emails only and make sure to check your spam folders also and if the joining get delayed it could take months to reschedule so don't miss your slots okay uh, because you know sometimes because of very silly reasons your joining get delayed because you know you might not uh, see the email at time on time or you might not be able to do your documentation properly so sometimes because of this also it gets rescheduled so try your best from your end that it does not get rescheduled and do and you do everything properly on time so guys i have tried to discuss almost everything which was there in the latest heading updates as of now if you have any more doubts you can ask me in the comment section I will try to answer all your doubts and there are there is a huge community on our channel which will guide you also in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and even follow me on my instagram as well and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that whenever i post off campus drive or a hiding update on my channel you get the latest notification that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time